Hey everyone, I'm Terry G. If you could take a second, can you please uh, subscribe to my channel? I'd really appreciate it. How many people ever apologize to you? Not too many, right? I don't get too many people apologizing to me when they harm me. I can probably count in the last year how many people apologized to me for harms done to me when they screwed up, yelled at me or did something wrong to me. I don't get too many apologies. If you get a lot of apologies, leave them in the comments below because I don't, I get a few a year, believe me. People are out of line, people have a conscience and they apologize. But one of the steps that are in the program the 12 step program that I feel gets overlooked. And it's a great step for maintaining your emotional, your mental and spiritual health on a daily basis. And that step is step 10. Continue to take personal inventory and when we were wrong, promptly admitted it. Promptly, you know what that means? Not, not, yes, not, not a month down the road, promptly. Hopefully within the next 24 hours or next time when you see the individual that you, you're, out of line with and we know it right we know when we're out of line with somebody when we know it because in recovery we feel the sting more we try and lead a good spiritual life right emotional mental life we, we try and do that in recovery so when we screw up when we anger at somebody or, or we're rude to somebody or make fun of somebody intentionally or unintentionally we want to fix the problem if we're sorry and we tell the other individual, they're gonna have a brief conversation with us, maybe, maybe not, but it'll leave that problem or that situation exactly where it was in that day or in that minute or in an hour. You don't have to keep carrying it with you into the next day or into the next month. It's a great maintenance step for, for a spiritual life. It really is. If the world practice that step alone, if the world practice it, Man, oh man, it'd be a better world, wouldn't it? If people just took responsibility for their behavior and, and talk to the other individuals and admit it when they're wrong, wouldn't it be a better world? Sure would be, right? And another thing in the program, when you talk, when you hear things in the program, they talk about keeping your side of the street clean. And again, step 10 is great for that. It's great for keeping your side of the street clean. And I don't mean Clean as in, you're as white as snow. No, when you screw up, if you promptly admitted it, you're cleaning up your side of the street. And step 10 is great for that. It maintains a healthy sobriety. It's like doing a mini step four and step five and step nine all at once. That's what I love about it. Just do it. If you can do it, apologize to somebody for screwing up, you'll, you'll get the feeling you'll get that good feeling that you did in step nine when you told persons that you harmed. You'll get that sort of feeling, that little bit of endorphin rush from it. And another thing you'll get, people appreciate it like crazy. They appreciate somebody walking up to them and apologizing to them when they have harmed them or mistreated them or disrespect them. It's a great step. And sometimes the people might not even know what happened? It might just be you rubbed against your moral compass. You were out of line. You felt guilty. You felt, you know, ashamed of your behavior. So you just wanted to correct it and take responsibility for it. It's, it's like that too, right? It's like that too. So step nine, continue to take personal inventory. When we're wrong, promptly admitted it. And that's the key, promptly admitted it. So work your program. Get the courage to discuss with somebody or say to somebody, I was out of line and I apologize for what I did and said to them. And I tell you, you'll feel a lot better on a daily basis with your sobriety. You'll be able to walk, walk down the street with your head up high, held up high and say, I'm doing the best I can one day at a time. I'm doing the best I can. So that step 10 is a darling of a step. It's a beautiful step if it's practiced on a daily basis. And you will see over time, because you take responsibility for your behavior, you take responsibility for things that you've done to other people, people, places, or things, it'll happen less and less and less and less because you'll take responsibility for that behavior and you'll do something about it. You'll do something about it. Usually the behavior is somewhat connected to the character defects. And over time, 
you will not make as many mistakes. Maybe you'll have to apologize once a month instead of every day, okay? My name is Terry G. This is an alcohol-free life channel where we're learning to live sober one day at a time. If you take a second, please subscribe. Take another second and hit that like button. But can y'all, oh, I was just, I'm running out of words again. That happens to me often. I just want to tell you that sobriety is freedom, okay? It really is. It's given me a big, great, joyous and free life, okay? And it came with you. Living under the curse of alcoholism is a tough way to make it. I tell you, it's a tough way to make it in our world, okay? God bless. See you later. Ciao for now.